Hello, so this is a beginner tutorial on Photoshop CS6. Now, this is a video for people who have either never used Photoshop or uh, have really limited experience using the software. So, I'm not going to be showing any new tools from the latest CS6 version. So, this is basically I'm going to show you the user interface and some of the basic tools to get started. So, when you first open up Photoshop, uh, more or less it's probably going to be really similar to what I have here some of the of the tools uh, are going to be placed uh, similar to what I have here I haven't really changed anything so when you first open it so you see that up here you have your uh, standard uh, menus like file and edit and obviously from the file menu you're gonna have all those options for open save and uh, things of that nature. So in edit, you're gonna have some other options that are particular, obviously, to Photoshop. And here's some of the layered uh, options. Now you see that many of these options right now are grayed, grayed out, basically because I haven't started a new document. Now what this area is is uh, some of the options that you're going to, that are going to appear up up here. As, uh, when you select some of the tools here you're going to get some different options available to you up here now what this is this area uh, this is the the tools that you have available within Photoshop some of the marquee select selection tools uh, uh, some of the specialties uh, like the brushes uh, uh, many of the tools that you're really going to be using this a lot within Photoshop so in this area we have some of the what it says color and swatches uh, hopefully that's uh, not too difficult to understand here we have some of the adjustments uh, we're going to go over those uh, later and styles as well so here uh, we have the layer so when you create layers they're going to be arranged up here we also have the channels and the paths now those are uh, slightly more advanced uh, uh, options there now we, one of the first things you can see is that you have something here that says essentials that's basically your workspace so basically this is the essentials workspace uh, every all the windows are arranged uh, mainly uh, this is the, the default uh, state now, uh, so you have, uh, if you go to window, you have a, a little more options here, some more options available to you. These are some of the display properties and uh, tools. Say I click on brush, uh, it brings this up. And to close that, just click on this arrow. So one thing that you can do within Photoshop is you can arrange the placement of almost uh, all these options here say we want to move the, our tools somewhere else we can just grab there and maybe place them here have them floating perhaps we can also bring them maybe if you see that blue line there that means that you can basically place it there or maybe there Or even here so you can basically move all of these options wherever you really want to say you want it to this to the side you can even take this out maybe put it even here so you have to have the option to move things around and as they as you please uh, and place them whenever wherever you think they're that you want them to be for a more convenient workspace if you prefer now say you have oh, everything out here and it's looking like a mess right now and you really want everything to go back to the default state so way of doing that is if you go 
back here where it says essentials you can either save this workspace so that uh, whenever you if you like the way all these things are arranged you can say save new workspace you can just give it a name and you can decide if you want to save the keyboard shortcuts if you created any or or if you have different items in different uh, menus you can save that so if I say save let's save that see see that now it says workspace up here that's that's my this particular works workspace so if we go back to essentials you're gonna see it's gonna be essentially the same basically because when we were moving things around we were basically in the essentials workspace so if you want to if you want everything back to its default state you can click here and reset the essentials and you see that everything goes back to normal and obviously if you wanted to go back to the previous workspace that you saved you can click here and we go back to this mess that we created so those are the basics of the workspaces that you can use within Photoshop and how you can create some of your own and always you can always go back to the essentials and there's also a few presets here that you can try and see what if you like those uh, presets now if you wanted to so let's get started into creating a new document so if you go to file you can either open or just select new now when you open you can open it basically an image any image really you can just go to open and open it it's going to appear here but you can also go to new you're going to get this window you get a few presets here available to, uh, within Photoshop but you can always change the, the size in pixels or any other of these options here you can change the width and height resolution uh, and all of these other options here if you want the background to be transparent or have color so if we say OK so now we have a new workspace I mean new document that we can work with now by default uh, it created that 2048 by 2048 that I typed as our pixels so that's going to be our background here and it's basically a layer now if you want to create a layer you have the icon here it says create new layer I believe it's also available within the layer options and if you click new layer and it also tells you the, the keyboard shortcut for it I prefer to use the icons here, it's uh, the easiest way so if you click new layer you, have, you get this empty layer now the eyeballs here is uh, if you want to if you don't want to see those layers so see now we have transparent because that's the layer that we have selected here now if you want to rename the layer just double click on the name and just name it make sure you double click on the name sometimes if you just double click on the layer you will get the layer style which is something different we can get to later okay so sometimes you may want to sometimes you may want to move one of these layers below the other one but if you see here that for some reason it's not letting us move this layer below the background layer now why that is is because this layer has been locked normally when you start a new uh, document the background layer is normally going to be locked so if you want to move this layer below the background layer what you can do is if you click and hold down left mouse click on the on the lock icon there you can throw it here to the, to the trash can now that, la that layer is no longer 
locked so you can move our new layer below it as we wish okay so those are the basics of really creating layers just click here to create new layers and you can name them as you please so for now I'm not going to show you I think I'm going to stop here for now and maybe in the next video I'm going to show you some of the of the tools available to you here within Photoshop that, that can be useful I, I do recommend that uh, you, you play around with some of the tools and see what they do I think that's the easiest way of learning uh, there's no way you're going to mess mess something up uh, I mean you can always close it and open it back up again so you should it shouldn't be a problem if you just play with the tools see what they do okay